So running your first simulations um, with GPVDM. So basically, um, I think we'll do now do this as like a follow along thing. So if you click new simulation and then um, click on organic solar cell, so select that and then click on next, it should ask you to save it somewhere. If, if you save it somewhere but not in the simulation directory, so save it on the desktop or somewhere like that, and ideally, sorry? Sorry. Sorry, it's again. Oh, that could have been feedback, sorry. Um, it could have been me. <laughs> um, and then if you click next and save it anywhere, um, don't save it on like a network drive or something because it's just too slow. Um, so ideally somewhere quite quick, like uh, not a USB stick either. Um, have, you, have you done that bit? Yes. Okay, perfect. Then if you click run, it'll just run the simulation, basically just look, click play. And it, it'll basically solve the, opti the optical model, the, the, the optical equation, the electrical equations. So do you, do, you want, do you want to shout when you're done so I know when to continue otherwise? Has it finished? Still running, okay. Finished? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> now okay. It, the bottleneck really is um, disk. So if you can turn off some of the dumping to files, and then it'll be a lot faster. But for the default, I turn them all on. So and it, so if you got if you got a nice SSD, it'll be super quick. And if you got a sl if you got like a a magnetic disk, it's gonna be a bit slower. Um, so on the right, so just to just to sort of highlight this, when when it was running on the right, it had basically um, CPU and disk usage. The the red is the the disk, I think, yeah, the red is the disk usage and the blue is the CPU, or, oh, it might be the way around, actually, can't remember, um, but that, that, yeah, that sort of doesn't indicate, sorry, did you say something? Oh, was that me? Oh, okay, I think there's some feedback, I might wonder if I use headphones, actually. Hang on. One sec. Uh, oh, never mind, okay. Um, so they'll just keep an eye on what the disk is doing, and if it's if it's a bit slow, it's probably the disk. Um, so if you now go to output and double click and, and double click on JV dot that, it should pop up a JV curve for the organic solar cell. Already got that. Okay, so that's just your standard JV curve for an organic solar cell. That's actually the um, one from Advanced Materials paper I, I, I did on a P3HT solar cell. So that's actually quite, you know, that's that's quite a that's quite a calibrated curve. Um, and then if you look at the snap, if you double click on there's something called snapshots. If you double click on the snapshots uh, thing, um, what it does is when it after it's done a simulation step, so if it does like one at zero volts, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, it, it saves everything, um, all the outputs into this snapshots folder, and that's actually just a physical folder on your disk. And if you select um, J, JN is the um, that's the electron hole density. If you change this to EC, that's going to be the conduction band or the LUMO. So if you just select that down there to be e, to be um, EC. Um, and you can see there's lots of other outputs there too. Then click the play button. You'll be able to sort of scro it, scroll through the simulation as it's happening as a function of voltage and really look at what's going on in the device. Um, and, and, and so this would work for time domain too. So if you're doing a time domain simulation, you'd look at what's happening with the electron population and stuff as, as stuff's going on. Everybody done that? Very cool. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> Um, it might be worth clicking play, uh, pause before you close the window because otherwise it might just keep going. That's a bit of a bug that uh, I've not fixed yet. So just pause before you close that window.